I want to give you my first impressions on the latest frame generation mod that works for AMD and NVIDIA GPUs on FSR2 supported games. So I just open Hogwarts Legacy and right from the menus, I see some ghosting issues, okay? But I want to give you my first impressions. So I'm starting a new game here in Hogwarts Legacy and let's take a look at it, okay? Let's see how it looks. Just you know, just watching this intro cutscene. Not me. Oh, I already see the ghosting. <laughs> I was expecting to tell you maybe. Well, it looks good on, on the cutscene. If you're not like trying to look for the defects. If you're not trying to find ghosting, maybe you can use it. You can tolerate it. But the ghosting is terrible. <laughs> I can't see it. I can I was able to see it like immediately because I saw in the menu so when you just open the game you have a character and it is kind of shaking and I was able to see the ghosting on, on all the menus but yeah it's, the ghosting is there it's so bad that I'm not sure if I'm if I would use it to be honest I mean the performance is absolutely fantastic of course I can get 120 locked my GPU is like at 73%, but if if the ghosting is that bad, it's not usable, man. It's not usable. It's very, very bad. And I already modified the config file. This is an Unreal Engine game. So I did everything I could to reduce ghosting with that distortion setting that we uh, turn off on Alan Wake. And we improved the ghosting significantly. But... I haven't seen that effect on Unreal Engine uh, games. So the ghosting is really, really noticeable. I saw it again on that, um, you know, I don't know how to call that thing. <laughs> I saw it. So, yeah, man, it might not be usable, at least on this game. Maybe on a different game it works very well. Maybe on Cyberpunk it, will, it works well. Uh, you see ghosting also, like a weird artifact. Um, but yeah, it is what it is. Give it a try. Maybe you can live with that ghosting. Look at that. Ghosting everywhere. Uh, maybe I'm doing something wrong. I'm going to try something different. You let me know if you figure that out, how to fix that. Um, but yeah, it's not very good. Um... I'm going to answer any any questions like how to download this mod because it is kind of tricky. I don't want to make a tutorial like how you can download this mod because it is technically uh, piracy, okay? And I'm not going to support that. But on the other hand, <laughs> I'm using it and I want to help you if you don't know how to get this mod working. Um, I don't want to post some links other than the WCCF Tech article that says the mod got leaked. So I'm going to post the link to that uh, page. And you can easily find a link that is not a link. Okay, You need to decode that link so you can actually download the mod. So let me know. If you don't know how to download this thing and I'm going to help you out, or maybe even better, if you know how to download it, post that in the description of the video and I'm going to pin a comment that explains how to download this thing. So I don't get in trouble, <laughs> okay? Um, but I'm okay with, yeah, just explain how to do it and I will post, um, I will pin your comment. So you can give it a try, but it is... Yeah, when nothing is moving, it's fantastic. You're getting 120 FPS. But the ghosting is really bad. It is a shame, man, because if we were able to fix that ghosting, it would just be perfect. It would be absolutely amazing. Um, but yeah, man, it is coming. It is coming. I see in less than a year, I, I, can, I definitely see all the games just... You know, with great frame generation support and not a lot of ghosting and issues. 
hopefully. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, so that's, that would be great because then that means I don't have to buy another GPU at least in four or five years. Okay. Um, at least I think I can wait until the PlayStation 6. <laughs> or maybe for GTA 6, definitely I'm going to want to you know, enjoy that the best I can. Okay, so let's see now that we have some movements. Mm, that looks very good. I don't see any any issues right now. Yeah, I see the ghosting everywhere. <laughs> I want to fool myself and say, no, 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 it's not noticeable. But it's really bad, really, really bad here. Of course, when things are not moving, or maybe just the, the background or the scenery, it's not a problem, but the temporal thing, uh, the characters with the temporal thing, maybe is that's the issue. So yeah, let's see now. Once I get control over the character, man, and I I wish this this ghosting wasn't an issue because the performance is like it's it's flat 120. So that means I can use all emotion pro. Let's see. Once I get control over the character. Okay, here we go. It doesn't let me advance come on man let me move the camera too much talking okay let's see oh he's terrible <laughs> it absolutely sucks yeah man this this is too bad look at that the ghost thing is terrible man absolutely terrible it's too big look at that it's too noticeable and the thing is it becomes bigger so when you move slowly it is a small ghost thing when you move up faster, the, the ghost thing becomes bigger. Maybe with a mouse. But if you're going to be playing with a mouse and doing this. Then you're not, you know, you're not seeing the improved motion clarity. And you don't get improved motion, you know, latency either. So why would you, if you're going to avoid the, the motion clarity altogether, then don't, don't even use this. So yeah, you go with the mouse, you can do this and you don't see that. You can still benefit from the higher frame rate just to look at the scenery and maybe just avoid the transitions and it might still be better, but I, I, I don't think it's worth it. If you can basically if you cannot live with that ghosting, it's unusable in my opinion. It's just too bad. I mean I think this is worse than Alan Wake with the DLSS frame generation uh, you know FSR 3 frame generation mod for DLSS for Nvidia frame generation supported games um, on Alan Wake specifically what I'm talking Alan Wake 2 had some ghosting but not this bad this is terrible look at this it's, it's gigantic yeah this is like immersion breaking in my opinion it's, it's, I wouldn't I wouldn't use it it's so big and it is at the leading edge and at the trailing edge look at that it's so such a big yeah it's it's definitely it's, it sucks man I cannot use that such a shame look at that 120 frames per second let me show you the settings I'm using this is crazy DLSS Ultra Quality. DLSS Ultra Quality. And I'm using max out settings. Everything but the post processing quality, which I have in low. Max out settings. Of course, ray tracing off. <laughs> Why would I turn that thing on? Doesn't make any any difference and just the 
destroys the performance. So yeah, man, such a shame. But yeah, it's terrible. I cannot, I cannot live with that, man. It's too bad. Look at that. That is too bad. And not only the ghosting, I see like, you see like like an interference on his face. Yeah, I cannot, I cannot use it like that. The rest of the of the image is okay. Like the background, like if I just if I don't look at the character, if I'm just looking at this, it's perfectly fine. Maybe yeah, maybe I do see some issues with the with the vegetation. It's kind of flickering. Not flickering, it's like kind of shimmering. Like a weird shimmering. The vegetation has a weird shimmering on it. So it, it looks bad. <laughs> it doesn't look great. See the vegetation is shimmering? Like weird for some reason. This is not normal. And it doesn't feel... Ta -ta, ta -ta, ta -ta, ta -ta, ta -ta. It doesn't feel responsive either. Even when I'm using supposedly uh, the NVIDIA you know, boost and all that. Yeah, it sucks, man. I, I, I cannot. I cannot live with that, man. It's too ugly. Too bad, man. Well, I'll try in other games. Let me know if you tried this mod on any game where it's just like perfect okay because remnant 2 for example with the dlss uh you know fsr3 for nvidia frame generation supported games it's not that bad and on remnant 2 it's just it's just perfect i share that it's just absolutely perfect i see zero ghosting fantastic responsiveness it's just perfect so how can I how can that be absolutely perfect and then this completely sucks? There has to be something we're missing. We have to fix that. <laughs> That's another reason why to pay for this. I understand you can support the developer if you feel like it. But I wouldn't pay for this. This is not this is not even usable. So I, I don't I, I just don't understand mods. That's why one of the reasons why mods have to be free. Like this is not you cannot charge for this thing. This is unusable. Look at this. This is not I mean I'm glad it is it is there. It's fun. It's, it's nice to try it. Maybe you can live with this, but I cannot. This is very, very bad. Terrible actually. So you cannot charge for this thing. I'm sorry, um, but yeah, let me know if you try it on a different game and it's just absolutely amazing. I'm going to try it in more games, of course, and yeah, let me know if you have any questions, I'll, I'll try to help you out, and yeah, let me know your thoughts and opinions and if you have any questions.